So I grew up not liking Thanksgiving. The only thing I liked about Thanksgiving were the bread rolls and the mashed potatoes and the pecan pie made by Miss Hazelton. That was it. So growing up, I did not like Thanksgiving food at all. It was always boring, bland, and the same thing every single year. So when I started making Thanksgiving, I make a different um, meal every year. So I create a menu and it's always different. It's always, you always have a turkey and you have the vegetable and the potato, but it's always different. It is not the same. And my stuffing does not involve bread, it involves rice. But I have this great stuffing that I make sometimes that's um, wild rice, brown rice, hazelnuts, cranberries. It's very good. So I make the whole thing. I create the menu and I make the entire thing for my family. We go up to um, St. George Island for Thanksgiving. And then my mother and sister and stepdad make a um, turkey themselves, but they're, so that's the competition of the turkeys. And every year there's two turkeys, mine and theirs. But mine wins. Oh, mine wins. Everyone says, everyone says mine wins. Maybe they won't all admit it at the same time, but they'll come tell me after. Your turkey was really good. So I remember uh, I was spending Thanksgiving with my mother. This is relatively recently, it was a couple of years ago. And, and one of the things that I really like to look forward to is uh, I love watching NFL football. Um, throughout the entire year, but you know, even more so on Thanksgiving, uh, you know, and, and if I remember correctly, I think the Cowboys were playing the, the um, Detroit Lions that day, and, and, and I, I like the Cowboys. Um, so, you know, they've got three or four games on Thanksgiving Day, and, and my mom and I eat an early dinner, and then I just lay on the couch all day and uh, watch all of these football games and, you know, do nothing. I'm just watching NFL football and everything, and then it was, it was about the start of the fourth quarter at the end of the game. And uh, so about 15 minutes left in the last game after watching all of them, and my mom looks over at me and she goes, hey, why don't you turn it on the HD channel? <laughs> so we spent the entire day watching NFL in the standard definition. And uh, I just looked at her and I go, you didn't think to tell me that at 1 p.m. this afternoon? At 2 p.m. this afternoon? You waited until 9.30? But... Thanksgiving is probably the most grounded holiday for my family. Uh, because we were uh, an Air Force family, we didn't spend, uh, have the opportunity to spend time with necessarily extended family because we were always in a different state, but it was the time that dad was off work, mom cooked, uh, all of us behaved, there was a football game on TV, and um, since then, my, my brother is here locally, uh, the rest of my family is scattered, but it's it's the only time every year I can count on seeing my brother and his family because nobody else knows how to make all those butter-laden, carb-infested recipes that we grew up on. And, and we do that once a year and try to behave the rest of the year, but because of that I can count on a little bit of family every year, and that's what I look forward to. My very best Thanksgiving memory is probably just what prepared me to be a lawyer, which is sitting around the table with a bunch of very strong and opinionated women <laughs> pretty much every Thanksgiving and some opinionated men in there too, but, and just, um, you know, debating and giving our opinions about the, the news story or political stories of the, of the moment. That's always, you know, something that goes on in my family, but that is, you know, where we all leave still liking each other, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> I, I approach the day with the perspective of I'm glad, I'm thankful I have a job to go to. Um, I'm thankful I have a car to get me to the job, you know, that I have. Uh, a lot of people take that for granted. And um, so, but I am aware of those every day. And Thanksgiving, like Veterans Day, is, is a time to celebrate and recognize those people and institutions and uh, team members that, um, work with you day in and day out? Um, for me, Thanksgiving is, you know, I think what it is for a lot of people. It's just time to relax and unwind with people who you know love you no matter what. We used to spend family, the holidays, with my mom's family, which was a good-sized family. She was one of five kids and just a couple of cousins. 
Um, later on in life, from 15 on, I moved in with my grandparents who raised me uh, and my, my father, and we would join their friends and family for Thanksgiving. And it would be 30 people in the tiniest room, and it didn't matter. Now my dad's a little bit older, He's in an assisted living, and so we've made a third round of family uh, as it goes for the holiday. And so we bring meals to him. Um, we bring friends to him, whether it's friends of ours or friends of his from other residents. Um, and we try to make it special for him. And uh, we, we pack up the Tupperware, we cook a big meal, and we just make sure that he gets to enjoy the holiday the way that he remembers it, sitting around that table with all of those faces that unfortunately quite a few are, have now passed away. Um, but we still want that spirit and that holiday for him. And so that makes it special for us. I'm thankful for, of course, my family. Uh, my wife, Laura, my daughter, Katie, my son, Tyler, Andrew, uh, my grandchildren, Liam and Sarah, Hi, everybody. Um, I will. I'm definitely thankful for all my family and for my health and for my children and um, my specifically my wonderful parents and um, and my colleagues here at the Orlando Law Group, of course. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Um, just want to say that I hope that everybody has a really happy Thanksgiving and that you just spend time with uh, your family or your friends or whomever you want to spend time with, and uh, hope that you have a great Thanksgiving. I want to wish everyone an extremely happy Thanksgiving. It might be a trying time, but there's so much to be thankful. Give the loved ones an extra hug. Look around. Give thanks and blessings for what you have. And don't be afraid to help others that can't during this time. Wishing you a wonderful and fruitful Thanksgiving holiday. Wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours. Happy Thanksgiving from me my staff, and all of Orlando Lager.